What's up, I'm Father Josh Johnson, and this is Ascension Presents. I got to spend a lot of time uh, on the college campus in, in my past ministry, and I would meet students all the time, and, and they would say, Father, um, how do I hear God's voice? I'm trying to pray and stuff like that. I'm trying to grow in holiness, but how do I hear the voice of God? How do I know what God's asking of me? Uh, and so then I, I asked them, I said, well, well, how do you pray? And they said, well, I, I go spend some time before the Blessed Sacrament, the Eucharist, and I'm like, awesome, that's cool, because that's Jesus. And then what? I said, what else do you do? Well, that's all, I just I just sit there and I try to pray. And I said, well, do you ever pray with the scriptures, the word of God? And they said, well, no, Father, I don't pray with the Bible, right? I, I, I may bring like a spiritual book or something like that, but I don't really pray with the Bible. And I say, well, how do you expect to know the voice of God if you don't know his word? I mean, think about it. If the president of the United States wrote you a letter, or wrote me a letter, that was personal to me, a letter, we would probably read it. If the king of a country wrote a letter and was like, hey, this is for you, we would probably read it and like frame it, big deal, king wrote a letter, that's what's up. We have someone greater than the president. We have someone greater than a king. We have the king of kings who wrote us a letter in the sacred scriptures and it's called the Bible. This is his word to us. And if we spend time with his word, reading his word, reading this letter that he wrote to us, we get to know him, get to know his voice. And that way, whenever we're in prayer and in silence, we can be able to better discern what's God's voice and what's my voice and what's the voice of the world and what's the voice of the enemy because we spend time with him in his word, listening to him, watching the way that he interacted with his disciples the way that he spoke, the way that he listened, the way that he walked, and the way that he ministered to people. And as we get to know him in the scriptures, in this letter that he wrote for us, we begin to take on his dispositions and say, okay, that's definitely Christ speaking right there. Not only will it affect the way in which we can hear him in prayer, but the more we spend time with his words, the more his word has the capacity to inundate our very being and to consume us and to transform our, our life. We'll start to think with the scriptures and speak with the scriptures and sleep with the scriptures in our imagination and on our heart. Our, it, it will take control of everything in our life because the one that we spend the most time with has the greatest ability to have an impact on our life. So if we're spending time with people who may be a bad influence, most likely we're gonna start to act like them. But if we start to spend time with Christ and listen to his voice that he speaks to us in his word, then his word will have an effect on us and it will transform us. And we'll know him throughout the day, we'll hear him throughout the day, and we will become a living image of him throughout the day so that we can become the public ministry of Christ, that we can become the hands and the feet and the voice of Christ, which is the fruit, right, of the Christian life, to become a living image of God. But the only way that can happen is if we first take time to spend with him in his word, in his letter to us, and allow his letter to transform us so that we can become who we were created to be, Jesus Christ.